In this video, you're going to learn how to use a keyframing technique on CapCut. Starting from the easy to the advanced level, we're going to be treating so many editing techniques like basic moving keyframing technique, color change keyframing technique, character bounce technique, text review effects, decode YouTube motion background style, PIP animation, unique transition styles, camera tracking animation. So here we're going to create this kind of effect here on CapCut and you can see the movement is great. So here on CapCut you're going to come here and you're going to add a picture or you're going to add a video, right? So at the point here you're going to come here and add a keyframe, right? And you're just going to add another keyframe right here. So once you see the movement, you can see it's a slow movement, right? But if you want it to be fast, you come here and add it to this point here and you can see the movement becomes faster. So you can go ahead to add another movement using the keyframe like this and you see it tracks the position but this one looks like a bounce so if you don't want it to bounce you just come here and add another keyframe right here that gives it a freeze position before it moves okay you add it here and you can see in between this point it waits before it bounces back to remove a keyframe you come here on the keyframe and then you click on the minus option right here like this so now the next thing you need to do is come here to add a keyframe and then you zoom out the image right and it creates a zoom out effect and also you can also come here and add another keyframe and then select another position and you can see the movement it creates and then it positions to this point here so now you can also try using the um the basic tool right here on CapCut. it's very essential especially when you want to use the position directly and accurately you can also scale in and out like this and also use the rotation like this this way it gives an accurate movement for you using keyframe you can create some interesting color change animations like this that way you come to cap cut right here at the point you wanted to change the color you come here to add a first keyframe select adjust add a keyframe button here right once you add a keyframe button at this point you come to the point where you want the color to change start changing from you come here and reduce the saturation to minus 50 and you can increase the contrast if you want but then the saturation is the main goal once you click on that you can see at this point it starts changing then to black and white so to create a character bounce animation like this you come here to cap cut and you're going to come here to bring in a picture at the beginning here you add a keyframe right and at the end here like this you add another keyframe and you pull the picture down like this so you see the movement goes down but here you're going to add a graph to it and the graph you're going to add here is the bounce graph which is this one bounce three next we're going to learn how to create a fading and fade out effect on CapCut. right here on CapCut, we have a, have a fading and fade out option but sometimes this might not really work because you want the fading to start at a point in the audio right so if you want to start from this point right you come here click it and then reduce the audio and at this point when you want the audio to rise you come here and click on that keyframe and it creates a, a, a fading like this if you want to create a fade out at this point you come here and click a point select a keyframe here click on the select a, a keyframe and then you reduce it this way it's going to create a fade out option so you can add this at any point of your video next we're going to create this decode youtube background animations right so to create this you're going to come here to pixel lab and you're going to write the text you want so i'm going to write here make money editing and you come here and duplicate the text like this right here you come here and select the font size or the font you want here i'm going to be using the next bold right here and here you're going to come to select the color of the text so i'll select the color to be the same with the background like this right and then i'll come here to add an outline here i'll add a stroke to it and i'll make it a white stroke so i'll have to duplicate this text by coming here to copy and then i will make sure that it's also centered so this is what i'm going to do i'm going to just keep repeating this throughout the process so at the end of the day you're going to have something like this and you can then put the remaining ones right so once you begin to adjust this make sure that everything is well aligned and it's centered all right so once you've done that you come here and you're going to make some of them invisible in between you're going to leave one visible and the other invisible in between them so once you've created something like this you come here to save and so those ones that are visible currently you come here to delete them you delete all those ones that are visible right here that way it will help you to just see the invisible ones that way you now come here to turn on the visibility of those ones and then you come here to save so now once you save you come here to cap cut 
now here on CapCut, you're going to bring those images in like this all right you bring the images in so you come here to rotate scale out and then you rotate all right you're going to rotate it like this so once you've been able to rotate it then you come here again to you know increase the length if you want and then you also come here to bring in the next image the other one that will overlap it like this and then you come here using the basic tool again you scale out all right make sure that the scaling is the same with the previous one and then you rotate it so come here and click on the splice tool right and then you click on lighting so here on lighting you can see it has given you an effect so you can now place it right here like this make sure that you, you place it very well so once you place it in between it very well like this you come here to extend it to this point so at this first one you come here to add a keyframe at the beginning here right here and at this end all right so at this end you come here to adjust it to one direction like this and at the beginning here you come here to adjust it to the other direction all right so at this point so you come here to do similar thing but then for the other one you're going to come here and do it in the opposite directions you come here and adjust it like this right and you come to the other one like this and then you adjust this one the other way like this okay make sure that you actually check what you're doing so that you're sure that the adjustment is right and they are actually moving the opposite direction so once you're done you can see the result so we're going to be creating a PIP animation like this we're using CapCut, right? So this is very easy. So here on CapCut, you're going to come here to bring in the image that you screenshotted right here. This is the page my YouTube channel. I screenshotted this on my phone. So I'll bring it right here and place it at this point and then I will extend it. So at the beginning here, you'll come to your basic tool because I'm going to be using the basic tool so that the accuracy will be there. So I'll add a keyframe at the beginning here and using the Y axis, I will drag it down like this right so once you be able to drag it down like this then you move to this point here and you're going to raise it up like this okay so at this point once you raise it like this you're going to now come here and add another keyframe all right once you add another keyframe and then you move a little bit here again and add another keyframe this time around you will now move it ahead out like this so you can see it suits well so you can check it out and see what it looks like okay so now next we're going to come here to add you know some graphs right we're going to use the ease graph so this is going to give it like an ease out effect so you can see that so it makes more sense so you're going to come here to add effect so we're going to add in a blur effect to this so you come here and select blur so but then we're going to use the keyframe to make the blur to fit in like this and then you increase the blur so it's going to be a fitting blur like this so you notice that there is a fading in some way so you notice it right here and at the end here you're going to also do add another fade out blow all right so the blow is going to fade out like this so this is how i want it to be so you come here and then you do this like this so next we're going to try and create a camera tracking effect like this that you see in popular videos around so this is very easy and we can create it using CapCut. So now first here on your cup court, you're going to bring in the background like this and you're going to bring in some pictures right here depending on what you use here i'm going to use this particular one right here and i'm going to place it at this end okay and then i'm going to come here and extend it and bring in another part like this and then i'll make sure that it's the same size like this and then i'm going to place it at the other end like this so once you've been able to place this then you can extend it like this so now we're going to bring in the youtube logo right i'm going to place it right here and i'm going to also extend it and lastly i'm going to come here and add the image that i want to add this particular image right here so once that is being added you extend it also so you can also come here and add a an animation to this so i'm going to use a combo animation right here and i'll create a bounce effect using this so you can see the bounce effect of the youtube right that is if you want to add that so now here i'm going to come here to add a keyframe right here and also another keyframe right here so this at this beginning i'll take this one out and then you can see it comes in so but then this is slow this is actually slow so if you want it to be faster you come here and you adjust it to bring it closer like this and you add another keyframe here and then you 
bring it in so you can see the movement is faster now which is what i want so now after that i also come here and add another you know keyframe right here and and also at this point i want it to also bring this down so it's going to add it an effect like this and then brings it down so now after that i will then come here to add a text to it all right so i'll come here to add a text so the text i'm going to be adding right here is views all right so the view text and then i'll place it right here okay all right so that is it so now you extend it throughout and then you can also go ahead to add some animations so i'm going to be using the jiggle animation here the loop so now after that i'll come here to alight motion here on alight motion i would come here to add the text option type in the number any number right and then i'll put it in a black text and then select the font size i want so here i'll come here to move and transform and scale out the text size like this so this is the size i want and then i would come here to effects once i've placed it at the center here i'll come here to effect and i'll use the count down animation or count up so here i'll click on this option count up and i'll select the quick count up so once you select the quick count up automatically this is going to be created and then you can save it so this is the first counting then i'll come here and then close this save it and then close right then i'll come here to change the text i'll change the number this will give us the second number that we want so this is the number right here and automatically it will give you a count up right so you save it just like the other one and then you come here to um your cap cut so here on cap cut we're going to come here to overlay where you want the text to start counting from or the number to start counting from you come here to overlay and you bring it in so once you bring it in you come to your chroma keys and you remove the white color behind the text and you place it right here now you can see it make sure you adjust it to fit in directly so once you've been able to do that then you can check it out and see what it looks like and so after that we're going to add a draw tool to this so you come here to text and you go to draw you select the line draw here like this and you're going to draw like this you draw a line straight up to this end like this so make sure you adjust it and once you're able to do that you come here to animations here in animations you're going to select the animation which is the wipe left like this so it's going to create an animation like this so you can extend the length like this to 1.4 seconds or above so you can see that so it's, it's lower so once you be able to do that now we're going to add the text so we're going to add a subscribers text to this so all right subscribers counts so you place it right here all right so once you get to place it right here you also add the animation so i also add the same animation i added for the view I'll use the jiggle animation here in the loop option so once you've added that then the other um you know counts down that you created using a light motion you bring it in here so i'll add it to this point here and using the chroma key option you remove the white color and then you place it right here so you can see now once you make sure that it's the same size with the other one and then you place it right here so you can check out to see what it looks like so you see that makes a lot of sense right so now once that is fine and cool using keyframe i'm going to add a little bit of um, animation to this like this in between it i'll add a graph and i'll use the bounce effect bounce three effect and then you can see once you're done you can go ahead to save it so after exporting it you bring it in in CapCut like this as a new file or as a new editing work now you can come here to add a keyframe at this point right and once you've added a keyframe you come here and add another keyframe and you zoom in and place it right here so once you place this right here you can see you add another keyframe here and you follow the line like this like this you come again to this point you follow the line all right and move it directly to this point all right so once you've been able to do that you can check out to see what it looks like so you see that so you see that right so once that is done you also come here to add another keyframe if you want so now you can now zoom out like this so basically this is how you can go ahead to do a camera tracking option or animation here on CapCut. Once you've been able to add all the keyframes that you want, then you go ahead to add your graph. I'm going to be using the ace graph like this. 
in between these areas you add the heat graph that way it's going to give a smooth movement right like that so next we're going to create a text reveal animation like this on CapCut so first you're going to start with putting in a text so right I'm going to use the text have you subscribed so guys have you subscribed to my channel if you have not please I want to ask that you consider subscribing to my channel right so that you would also learn everything that I have to teach you I am going to be showing you how you can become a better editor with just a smartphone all right so without further ado let's continue okay so now you're going to put in the text and of course you select the font you want to use so this is the text I've added the text have you subscribed and now the next step is to make money editing so once you're able to put in all the text you want to put here now you go ahead to add an animation right so here you come to animation and we're going to use the type 2 animation type 2 animation and you come here to select it similar to the other one right like this so now you come and bring in the youtube logo right this or any other logo you want to use then you come here and place it make sure it's aligned with the text like this then you can go ahead to adjust the logo so at this point right here you are going to come to add a keyframe and then where the text looks like it's fading out right you come here to um adjust it the logo right like this using the positioning tool you adjust the logo to this point then after adjusting the logo you're going to come here to layers right and you're going to use the layer option to bring the logo in front of the text like this so now when the next text starts at this point you can come here to you can even um increase the length of the text the type in like this so you can come here to when the next text starts the logo area you split this point here and you bring it down you bring it down to adjust it to this point where the next test start and just as you did before you add a keyframe at the beginning like this yeah and then at the point where the text fades out you use the basic tool to adjust the position of the xr6 to the end like this right like this so after that you come here to your layers and then you bring it to the top like this and you can see the movement so the next is a cool transition like this we're going to create a transition like this right so many of you may have seen these transitions before so the way it works is you bring in a logo that you want to use and you place it like this right once you've placed it like this at this point where it detects the you want to create a transition you come here and add a keyframe right and using the positioning tool you take it out from the x-axis like you take it out like this and then at this point you bring it in at the center and place it at the center right right you bring it in and you place it right at the center okay once you've made to place it at the center at this point here where the new video starts right at the center there you come here to put another keyframe right here and this time around you come to your, your basic tool and you scale out the logo you scale it out like this if this is too much you can reduce the scaling size and keep it like this so now you move again a little bit you move like this and then at this point you would come here to add another keyframe and this time around you use your basic tool and then you move down right you move down like this if you can no longer move down you can use your hand to now adjust the remaining part so this is what it's going to look like 